Good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. Glad you're joining us for your word for the day today, wherever you're tuning in or whatever you're doing. You know, I've stated several times that I'm always thankful for the practical wisdom of Proverbs because it shows up in so many areas of our life. And I don't know about you, but there's been many times when I've heard a story from someone that sounded completely true and sounded like the person telling me the story was right. And then I heard the other side of the story. And all of a sudden, as I listened to the other side of the story, the first version I heard wasn't quite as complete and accurate as I once thought it was. And that's where Proverbs 18, 17 comes in. It says, he who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. And this shows up in so many different areas of our life, from our kids' fights and quarrels to our friends' issues or marriage problems, to even how 911s are initially categorized in, in the process of things. This shows up so much, but the lesson here is for to remember one thing when we're trying to sort through conflict or to help with conflict, and that is we must hear both sides of the story to get an accurate view of the situation. And the reason for this is we all have a natural human tendency to formulate a story or a perspective that's favorable to us. The way we tell our side of the story is either intentionally or unintentionally crafted to make us look better. So the old adage is there's two stories and somewhere in the middle of the truth really comes back to this passage here. So next time someone tries to recruit you to their side of the conflict, whether that's at work or with your kids fighting at home, let me encourage you to hear the other side of the story before making a call on what the actual story is. Because God in his wisdom has given that as guidance for us. So I hope that you have a great and discerning day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.